similar to a dc motor the speed can be controlled by controlling the input dc voltage and because of these similarities and as it does not have any brushes that's why it is referred as the brushless dc motor now there are two types of brushless dc motors um available in practice which are the unipolar or half wave brushless dc motor and another is the bipolar or full wave brushless dc motor okay so let us see uh, them one by one so this arrangement is for uh, optical sensor so um, uh, in this uh, unipolar uh, brushless uh, dc motor the rotor consists of a optical sensor the optical sensor it has a light source and uh, three photo transistors p1 p2 and p3 so these photo transistors are there and a light source is there and a revolving shutter is there so which is mounted on the shaft so that uh, there are slits on this uh, revolving shutter so whenever the slit uh, will align with the particular um, LA, uh, photo transistor this light will be uh, passing to that particular photo transistor and a pulse will be generated so this arrangement is for uh, optical uh, sensor now this p1 p2 and p3 they are mounted on the end plate of the motor they are separated by 120 degrees from each other and a revolving shutter this revolving shutter it is coupled to the shaft of the motor so that this photo transistors they are stationary which are mounted on the uh, you can say um, cover or body of this uh, motor which is stationary and to the rotating shaft this revolving shutter is uh, connected and the source of light is on the other side so that whenever this particular uh, revolving shutter which is having an window whenever that window will come in front of the particular uh, photo transistor light will pass on that and a pulse will be generated in that particular or uh, that particular switch will be turned on and a pulse is generated okay so the stator consists of three phase stator winding and two pole rotor consisting of permanent magnet the driving circuit consists of three transistors q1 q2 and q3 they are shown over here so this is the structure for unipolar brushless dc motor so there are three um, three uh, this uh, poles stator poles are there so these are the uh, stator poles this is pole 1 pole 2 and pole 3 or three phases uh, they are connected and for uh, these each phases the supply or this dc supply it is connected through these transistors q1 q2 and q3 uh, like this so for phase 1 say current will flow from this positive terminal or this positive terminal it is connected to this phase in this way and the second um, end it is connected through this particular transistor back to this negative bed then for second phase again this positive is connected through this and this winding is like this and it is another end is connected through this transistor back to this negative of battery and for third phase also it is this so these three poles they are connected to this supply through this power transistors like this okay and to base of these transistors it is connected uh, through a timing and 
base drive circuit so which will drive these particular transistors and uh, this um, this is the uh, rotor and on this uh, rotor the, there is a shaft and to this shaft uh, shutter that i have told you uh, that shutter arrangement is there and on the fixed part this p1 p2 p3 these uh, uh, photo transistors they are connected and these photo transistors output it is again connected to this timing and drive circuit so that whenever uh, a particular transistor will be turned on um, by uh, that uh, photo transistor whenever light will fall through that slit that i have already explained to you whenever light will pass through this uh, hole uh, or a window uh, to a particular uh, photo transistor that will be turned on and a pulse will be generated and that pulse um, uh, either whether uh, it may be uh, that particular um, um, photo transistor may be p1 p2 or p3 these three uh, one of these three may be on and depending on that a pulse will be generated over here either from p2 uh, p1 p2 or p3 and these p1 p2 and p3 pulses they will drive the bases of this power transistors 1 2 and 3 and the sequence of this will uh, will uh, um, uh, decide the direction of rotation of this particular motor okay so this is the arrangement um shown uh, arrangement uh, so showing the entire uh, brushless dc motor and it is unipolar brushless dc motor or uh, it is also referred as the half wave brushless dc motor and that's why only three power transistors are used and uh, it is in uh, full wave or bipolar type uh, six power transistors are used okay so here three power transistor so if it is asked in the exam that unipolar brushless dc motor to explain so you have to draw this particular diagram and along with this diagram you can draw these pulses also so these are the pulses uh, generated by photo transistors so whenever that uh, light will fall on photo transistor 1 it will generate a pulse and as these photo transistors they are placed 120 degree apart from each other while revolving this uh, shutter uh, this uh, uh, light will be falling on that particular uh, power, um, uh, photo transistor for a period of 120 degree and that's why the output of this photo transistor it will be a pulse of duration of 120 degree so this pl1 that is the pulse generated uh, at the output of this uh, photo transistor uh, and it is of 120 degree then for p2 it is pl2 and it is again for 120 degree to 240 degree so that is again for 120 degree and uh, third pulse p3 will be generated at 240 to 360 degree again for 120 degree right so Uh, whenever the shutter is revolving the power transistors they are uh, getting exposed to the light in the sequence of their uh, number and in each revolution the photo transistors they generate the pulses pl1 pl2 and pl3 which have a duration and phase displacement of 120 degree okay as shown in this figure so you have to draw these uh, diagrams and then you can explain the operation now uh, for explaining the operation i'll explain it for uh, one particular direction of rotation now this is the rotor having north and south pole and uh, this is phase 1 phase 2 and phase 3 so uh, phase 1 will be on whenever this transistor is turned on then uh, this particular phase uh, current will flow through this particular phase and a north pole will be developed on this phase uh, so that this south pole of rotor will be attracted towards 
this particular uh, direction so if, uh, if this is the position of rotor and if you have applied the sequence as or you have uh, started this uh, operation by uh, giving the base pulse for this transistor q1 then this rotor will move in counter clockwise direction then if you are applying the base pulse to second transistor then north pole will be developed across this phase 2 because uh, you have turned off this transistor q1 and you have turned on this phase 2 so current will flow through phase 2 and uh, north pole will be developed on this phase 2 now this uh, rotor s pole of rotor is here now uh, and it will be attracted towards this direction and uh, further it will uh, continue the anti clockwise direction and uh, if again um, you will after 120 degree if you will turn this transistor off and you will <coughs> apply base pulse for this particular transistor then current will flow through this phase 3 developing a north pole on this and then <coughs> this particular uh, south pole of this rotor which was at this particular position will be attracted towards phase 3. So, rotor will uh, rotate in counterclockwise direction and if you are applying the phase sequence as uh, if rotor is at this position and instead of phase 1 if you have applied the base pulse for transistor Q3 instead of Q1 then this will be uh, turned on means north pole will be developed through uh, developed on this P ph3 as current is flowing through this uh, third pole of the stator so north pole will be developed on this and uh, um, south pole of this rotor will be attracted toward this so that the direction of rotation will be now clockwise so if you are uh, applying uh, this phase sequence PL1, PL2 and PL3. If PL1 you are applying to Q1 transistor, PL2 to Q2 and PL3 to Q3, then this rotor will rotate in counterclockwise direction. Whereas, if you will apply this PL1 to Q, uh, Q3 and PL2 to Q2 and PL3 to Q1, then the direction of rotation will be reversed. That is the clockwise. So if you want to reverse the direction in conventional DC motor, you have to reverse the direction of the current. But here, you need not have to reverse the direction of current or the rotation uh, direction. It is irrespective of direction of current. But if you are reversing this phase sequence, PL1, PL2 and PL3, if you are applying it to transistor Q1, Q2 and Q3, it will rotate in counterclockwise direction. And if you are applying this PL1, PL2 and PL3 to Q3, Q2 and Q1 transistor, then the direction of rotation will be clockwise. So this is the difference. So I hope uh, you have understood this uh, operation. I will uh, revise it uh, once. So when light falls on the phototransistor P1, it generates a pulse, this PL1, and this pulse, if you are applying it to base of this transistor Q1, then Q1 will be turned on. Okay. Now, as Q1 is turned on, the current will start flowing from this positive end of this battery through this phase 1 in this direction, then through this transistor Q1 from collector to emitter back to negative end of battery. So as current is flowing in this phase 1, north pole will be developed on this phase 1. So now as north pole is developed on this phase 1, this rotor pole, south pole, will be attracted towards this particular phase 1 and the rotor position will become now vertically upward whereas north pole is here south pole is here so south pole of rotor is here and north pole of this uh, stator 
and north pole of rotor is at the bottom of this so this will become in vertical direction so rotor has moved in cloud counter clockwise direction okay now this pulse is ending at 120 degree so now as soon as this pulse stops uh, at the, which is this pulse we are applied as the um, uh, base of this transistor so whenever this pulse will go to zero value then the base drive for this transistor you have removed so as base drive is removed this will be uh, open circuit switch or this transistor will become off so there won't be current flowing through this phase 1 now so there is no current flowing in phase 1 but after this particular interval of 120 degree the pulse 2 pl2 is going high and this pl2 you have applied to base of this transistor 2 so this transistor 2 will be turned on and q1 will be off so now q1 is off and q2 is on so current will flow, flow through this ph2 and current will flow from this positive end of battery through this ph2 through this 